How's everybody doing today? Me and uh, me and my wife had a quick project this morning. We went ahead and did the flower beds. Had to show this off because it looks beautiful. She did an excellent job on this. Just absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna take that sweet, sweet machine out for a ride. The plastics aren't done yet. The decals aren't in yet. Just kind of giving you a walk around. Come down here to our backyard. We've got it all fenced in for our four dogs. Show you what we did last night. Kind of still in the process, but we uh, we put white rock and we planted all those roses along the edge of the house. Got to be proud of the work you do around your house. Got these gorgeous rose bushes right here, and then that's all the dirt from left over. Now let's go riding. Now, I went ahead and I adjusted the carburetor a little bit. I didn't change it yet because I haven't got the new jets in, but I'm still running the 100 main jet. And I uh, adjusted the screw on the side, and it's really got a lot more bottom end torque. It'll lift the front wheel off the ground real easy.
the battery's starting to die on the camera. And uh, got it all back in. She runs really good. I've got a, uh, a piece of grass stuck inside my pulley in there. I gotta get that out. But uh, other than that, it runs pretty good. Um, I have yet to figure out what the temperature of the engine is running. Um, I'm looking at different temp sensors online, trying to read the reviews, the $50 ones. They say they don't work. They work for a period of time, then they stop working. So I really don't know what I'm going to do with that. I've got a Micron 4 and a Micron 3 off my racing go-kart. I might go ahead and just pop on there just to get the uh, cylinder head temperature and try to tune it that way. So I don't know if by keeping the stock intake manifold on it and preventing a larger amount of air and to get into it if it's you know running lean or not but it looks with the amount of smoke i'm getting like it's running pretty good and it doesn't hesitate on the top end none of that so uh i've got a little mid mid range mid power band hesitation sometimes i don't know if that's just due to it sitting still idling for you know 30 seconds and there's just some residual stuff sitting in there but um, other than that, it runs great. Uh, it's got really, really good uh, low-end grunt. It'll pull the wheels off the ground. You kind of got to be uh, on your toes about it. Next thing I got to fix is the kickstand. So that right there, you can kind of see how it's flat right there on the corner. It's, it was actually rubbing the tire, and I didn't know it. And when you went to push it backwards, it locked up. So if you look, it was rubbing on the tire right here on the edge. So I might go ahead and... Uh, Either weld something on that, bend it out, or buy a new one. Who knows? But before I do any long-term riding on it, uh, you know, long-distance drives, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the temperature sensor on there. That way I know I'm not running it lean. But uh, thank you all for watching my videos. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.